Germany, a land steeped in history, has always been a subject of curiosity and intrigue. But why is that so? Is it because of its complex past, marked by empires, wars, revolutions and reunifications? Or is it because of its rich cultural contributions that have shaped the world as we know it? Perhaps it's the combination of both, and much more. In this video, we're diving deep into the alluring history of Germany. From the towering heights of the Holy Roman Empire, through the tumultuous era of the Reformation, to the rise and fall of Prussia, and the dramatic division and reunification of the nation, we'll explore it all. We'll uncover the stories behind the Berlin Wall, delve into the Weimar Republic, and examine Germany's role in contemporary Europe. So buckle up, history enthusiasts, and embark on a journey through time to explore the captivating history of Germany. The Holy Roman Empire, a complex political entity that existed in Europe for almost a millennium. Originating in the 9th century, the empire was neither holy, Roman, nor an empire, as Voltaire famously quipped. Yet it was a unique political structure that played a significant role in medieval Europe. Its intricate system of governance was marked by a delicate balance between the emperor and the numerous princes, dukes, bishops, and knights who held territories within its vast expanse. The empire's political, cultural, and religious diversity set it apart. From the rich trading cities of northern Italy to the spiritual heartland of the papacy in Rome, from the powerful Germanic states to the eastern fringes of Christendom, the Holy Roman Empire was a mosaic of contrasting yet interconnected realms. The Holy Roman Empire, a crucial part of Europe's medieval history, set the stage for the nation we now know as Germany. The Reformation, a religious revolution that shook the world, had its roots in Germany. This seismic shift in religious thought was largely spearheaded by a man named Martin Luther. Luther, a German monk and theology professor, stirred the pot of what was then a largely unified Christian Europe. His 95 Theses, famously nailed to the door of the Wittenberg Castle Church, became the catalyst for a movement that would fracture the religious monolith of the time, the Catholic Church. Luther's bold criticisms of the Church's practices, most notably the selling of indulgences, ignited a firestorm of religious debate and ultimately led to the creation of Protestantism. The changes Luther instigated reshaped the religious, political and cultural landscape not just in Germany, but across Europe and beyond. The Reformation, instigated by Martin Luther, was a turning point in religious history, with ripples still felt today. Prussia, once a powerhouse in Europe, played a pivotal role in shaping modern Germany. Emerging in the 17th century, Prussia swiftly rose to prominence, becoming a dominant force in European politics. Its disciplined military and efficient bureaucracy were the envy of other nations. Under the rule of Frederick the Great in the mid-18th century, Prussia's influence grew exponentially, resulting in territorial expansion and economic prosperity. In the 19th century, Prussia's Chancellor, Otto von Bismarck, masterminded the unification of Germany, further solidifying Prussia's political might. However, this power didn't last. Post-World War I, Prussia's monarchical rule was dismantled, leading to its decline. Following World War II, Prussia was officially dissolved as a separate entity, and its territories were divided among several countries. The rise and fall of Prussia, a crucial chapter in Germany's history, marked the beginning of a unified Germany. The unification of Germany, a significant event that shaped the course of European history. This process was not an overnight transformation, but a carefully orchestrated plan led by the Iron Chancellor, Otto von Bismarck. Bismarck, a Prussian statesman, understood the intricate balance of power in Europe and used this knowledge to his advantage. Through a series of wars with Denmark, Austria and France, he gradually brought the independent German states under Prussian leadership. This was not just a political unification, but also a cultural one, as it brought together people who shared a common language and cultural heritage. The culmination of these efforts was the proclamation of the German Empire in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles in January 1871, marking the birth of a new European power. The unification of Germany, a monumental event that forever changed the landscape of Europe. The Berlin Wall, 
a symbol of division that stood for almost three decades. Constructed in the 1960s, this concrete barrier was more than just a physical divide between East and West Berlin. It was a stark manifestation of the ideological divide between communism and democracy during the Cold War. Overnight, families were separated, and lives were disrupted. Yet, the Berlin Wall was also a hotbed of defiance and resilience. It witnessed countless escape attempts, some successful, others tragically not. Then came the landmark year of 1989. A wave of revolution swept across Eastern Europe, and the wall that had divided a city and symbolized a divided world, fell. Its fall marked not just the end of an era of division, but also the beginning of a new era of unity and freedom. The Berlin Wall, a stark reminder of a divided Germany, now stands as a symbol of unity and freedom. The Weimar Republic, a period of cultural blossoming and political instability. Born out of the ashes of World War I, the Weimar Republic was Germany's first experiment with democracy. It was a time of great social and cultural innovation, with Berlin emerging as an international center for art, architecture, film and literature. It was also an era of political and economic turmoil, marked by hyperinflation, political assassinations and the rise of extremist parties. The Republic was a hotbed of new ideas and movements, from the radical Bauhaus School of Design to the influential theories of Albert Einstein. Yet, it was equally known for its political struggles. With over 30 political parties, the Weimar government was often unstable and unable to address the pressing issues of the day. This instability created fertile ground for the rise of Adolf Hitler and his Nazi party. The Weimar Republic, a beacon of culture amid political turmoil, laid the groundwork for modern German democracy. World War II and the Holocaust, two of the darkest chapters in human history, left indelible scars on Germany. The Nazi regime, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler, unleashed a torrent of violence and destruction. Six million Jews were systematically exterminated in the Holocaust, a genocide carried out with chilling efficiency and callous disregard for human life. Meanwhile, the war ravaged cities, decimated populations, and uprooted families across Europe. Germany, once a thriving center of culture and industry, was left in ruins, its people grappling with the horrors of their recent past. The aftermath of World War II and the Holocaust had lasting implications for Germany, shaping its post-war identity and leaving a legacy of remembrance and atonement. The lessons learned from this tragic period continue to reverberate today, reminding us of the destructive potential of hate and intolerance. World War II and the Holocaust, dreadful chapters in human history forever changed the face of Germany and the world. The division and reunification of Germany, two major events that shaped the nation's history. Post-World War II, Germany found itself divided into two parts, East and West. The East was under Soviet control, while the West was influenced by the United States, Great Britain, and France. This separation symbolized the ideological divide of the Cold War, with democracy on one side and communism on the other. The Berlin Wall, built in 1961, became a physical manifestation of this divide. It wasn't until nearly three decades later, in 1989, that the wall came down, paving the way for German reunification. This monumental event in 1990 was a significant stride towards healing the wounds of war and division. It marked the end of the Cold War era and the beginning of a new chapter for Germany as a unified nation. The division and reunification of Germany, pivotal moments in history, marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new one, Germany, a key player in contemporary European politics. Its role has been pivotal in shaping modern Europe and it continues to be a driving force. Germany's position within the European Union is one of prominence, not just due to its size, but also its economic strength. As the largest economy in the EU, Germany wields significant influence. The country's leadership has played a crucial part in managing the European debt crisis, addressing climate change and navigating political tension. With Chancellor Angela Merkel at the helm for over a decade and a half, Germany has demonstrated a commitment to European unity and cooperation. Moreover, 
Germany's international relations extend beyond Europe, as it has become an essential player on the global stage, advocating for human rights, international law, and sustainable development. Germany, with its political clout and economic prowess, continues to shape the future of Europe. Now, it's time to address some of the most common questions and curiosities about Germany's history. First off, many are curious about the Holy Roman Empire's impact on modern Germany. Well, the Holy Roman Empire was a multi-ethnic complex of territories in Central Europe that developed during the early Middle Ages and continued until its dissolution in 1806. Its legacy is visible in Germany's cultural diversity and its federal structure. Another frequently asked question revolves around Charlemagne's influence. He was a pivotal figure in the formation of Europe. Charlemagne's rule brought about a cultural and intellectual revival known as the Carolingian Renaissance. His reign laid the groundwork for the later development of both France and Germany. Then, there's the question about the Protestant Reformation's effect on Germany. The Reformation, initiated by Martin Luther in 1517, dramatically altered Germany's religious landscape. It led to the establishment of Protestantism, which remains a significant religious group in Germany to this day. Now, let's address the question about the rise and fall of Prussia. Prussia emerged as a major power in Europe during the 18th century. Its strong military tradition and administrative efficiency played a significant role in the unification of Germany in the late 19th century. However, following World War II, Prussia was officially abolished. Lastly, many ask about the significance of the Berlin Wall. The wall was more than a physical barrier. It was a symbol of the ideological divide during the Cold War. Its fall in 1989 marked the beginning of the end for East Germany and paved the way for German reunification. The history of Germany is a rich tapestry of events and influences, each contributing to the country's development and shaping its role in the world stage. From the Holy Roman Empire to the fall of the Berlin Wall, every era has left an indelible mark on the nation's identity. Hopefully, that has satisfied some of your curiosities about the intriguing history of Germany. Germany's history is a tapestry of fascinating events and influential figures. We've journeyed together from the intricacies of the Holy Roman Empire, through the enlightening rule of Charlemagne, the turbulent reformation led by Martin Luther, and the devastating Thirty Years' War. We've explored the rise and fall of Prussia, the unification of Germany under Otto von Bismarck, and the iconic Berlin Wall. Our path led us through the cultural blossoming of the Weimar Republic, the dark times of World War II and the Holocaust, and the division and reunification of Germany. We've delved into Germany's significant role in the European Union, the fall of the Iron Curtain, its rich cultural contributions, its post-war economic miracle, and the pursuit of justice through the Nuremberg Trials. We've addressed some of your most curious questions about Germany's past. Remember, history is not just about understanding the past, but also about learning for the future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Germany's history.